everybody, hello. We're gonna visit Claymates one more time because I have gone through Claymates Rehab and I'm clean. I'm totally fine to the game. And if you should be foolhardy enough to want to let's play this game too, or even casually play it, I'm gonna make it much easier on you and I'm gonna show you where all the warps in the game are. As a bonus! Ah, uh, hello, you... You know what? Can't say anything nice. Don't say anything at all, man. Okay. Starring this guy and this guy and this guy. Okay. Oh, uh, don't need a story. Don't need a story. Ah, uh, we just saw it end. Pretty cool to go up there. They live right by a damn theme park. That's pretty cool. Okay. See, I will see you in the first. Actually, no. I'll show you. Alright, we're back in Clayton's Yard. We're back when the game was pleasant. Alright. You saw this on camera, actually. Ignore the pit. What I gotta do? It's pretty simple. Wah! Ignore the pit! Built the hole. Now, you see this flower right here. That's it! You just go to the first flower and you jump four times. And then it'll welcome us to the Pacific. See? Isn't that painless? Alright, I'm gonna cut to when I find the next one, which is in 2 1. See you there. Alright, very careful about your jumps. There we go. See this magnet drop through right here? Yeah, you guessed it. Same thing. There you go. Now, welcome to Japan Land. Alright. Now, this one is a bit different. It's not in the first level of the game, it's actually in the second level. I mean, first level of Japan, it's actually in the second. So, I'm gonna see you when I get there. See you soon. Alright, everyone, hello. This is the second level of Japan. Yes. Now, we must come in here. Everyone, hello. I'm in Lilypods. Now, when you're making your way to the next warp station, just be very, very careful. Because there are going to be samurai just out the ass everywhere here. But if you stop and you hit them at least once, they'll always be facing away from you. So don't worry about this. This is one thing I did not do in my LP. I wish I had done. So be very wary of the falling lamps. Wow, that was a pretty high jump. Where we need to be is on top of this monster maker. What you need to do? There you go! Welcome to Africa. And this is the last warp of the game. You do need to legitimately go through the rest of the game. If you would like to complete it. So, that's going to be it for Claymates. I'm not playing this again. You... <sighs> Though... In my LP of this, I did judge it pretty unfairly because I didn't try all the concepts. I... <laughs> I was too fearful of my life. I had heard things about the game, so I was, I was a bit biased to the game. It is totally true. It was a great concept. It's got great graphics. And some tracks in the game do actually kind of stick with you just a little bit. Like the Claymace theme song that's playing right this moment has stuck in my head for a little bit. But goodness, man, I would never play this a game again. I would never force someone to go through with this. The game... Uh, the game really is grueling, right down to a point. The enemy setups, the traps, the convoluted levels... Oh my goodness, you saw it all! You saw the entire game! Uh, you can make your own points if you like in the comments field. It was a very unique concept, but I feel the execution was pretty poor. Mostly based on the... 
very sparse amounts of power-ups in certain sections, like Japan. You saw Japan. Once we got to the second lighter half of the world, level 3 and 4, there were almost none to be found anywhere. Absolutely none. Whew. That was a nerve wreck and a half, dude. But all in all, it's a great concept, great graphics, and you can tell there was a lot of love put into it. I, at least, I feel there was a lot of love put into the development of the game. The story... Pff, that was nice. They got a cop out of a damn ending screen! I didn't even get to see them reunited. Well, that's a, that's the only gripe I really have about the game, after I've played it. Will I revisit the game? To show someone how unbalanced and poorly developed it is? Yes! Yes, I would! But for enjoyment, absolutely positively not. You cannot make me come back to this game if you pay me. Oh. And I say that for very few titles. But this has been developed by Interplay. Well, it's been published by Interplay, and it's been developed by Visual Concepts. Hats off to you, sirs, for trying as hard as you possibly can, but I'm sorry, guys. For a game developed for children, this shit's hard. Way too hard. Just way, way too harsh. Really, if it had been toned down, or if Clayton got more hits as a uh, piece of goo, that probably would have been better, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the one who created the game. I'm not one to criticize it as much. Even though I am. Hypocrite! Well, that's all the warps in the game. If you choose to let's play this game, you are as full hardy as you think you are. Because it is very taxing. <laughs> Unless you're a speedrunner expert, then please, by all means, go ahead. But this has been Clamish for the Super Nintendo. And I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm cleaning this crap right off my PC as soon as I'm done. As soon as it's up. I'm just gonna forget it exists. Like I did for two... Almost two decades from the first time I played it. And it'd be best if I forgot about it as well. So, thank you for joining me. I'm Ray Tillman, and this has been Climate with Super Nintendo. Thank you very much for watching all the way through. I will be getting back to some games I actually enjoy and won't be bitching about half the time. So, I apologize to you to put up with me for so long about the bitching of this game and enemy stuff, but when you're experiencing it, it is much different. <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys. Keep wagging those tails. See you another time. See you next LP. Goodbye.